Howdy guys, welcome back. Jet Scott here and today well, we're working on some neat stuff and we're actually retiring the GoPro for this video and we're going to see how this turns out with my uh, phone. And uh, well, it's already pretty freaking uh, scary looking. Wow. Wow, what definition on this bad boy. <laughs> oh man, you can watch all this ugliness in like 4K or something probably. But anyways, let's get on to the video. Alrighty, so today we're working on a dash cluster. What dash cluster, you may ask? Well, that's a 67 to 70 to 70 to 71 A body rally cluster. Like, why is your cluster out of your duster? Because my duster, cluster out of the duster, is actually a factory rally cluster car. And it's probably the coolest thing about it to me, besides the 340 part that it's supposed to have. But it is indeed a factory rally cluster car. There it is. The only thing it doesn't have is a tank or even a performance gauge. Because besides this blank, this could be a performance gauge, which basically is a vacuum gauge, or it could have a tack. Well, I, I've never been a fan of tacks hanging off the dash and looking all goofy like they don't belong. And with this being a column shift, you can't really put a tack on a column because it'll sit there and rotate with everything. So. I've been brainstorming. Let me show you what I've been brainstorming. So the idea here with this rally cluster, this is a spare I bought off eBay, and it's a pile of junk. Like, there's really nothing left to use of this thing. The bezel here, yeah, quick release. I got it all taken apart. You saw, if you watched the live stream, oh, a couple weeks ago, you saw me take this thing apart, but it's broke there. I was told about that, but I didn't know the piece was missing. I think I got the piece somewhere, but I don't, that's right there. But, uh... I wasn't really told that it was all rotted out on the back. That, that kind of irritates me. But uh, we got a good mock-up deal here so we can see what's going to work, what's not going to work. So don't fall. There's still some good parts on there. I bought it because the speedometer here isn't broken like mine. Mine, the needles broke off. But unfortunately, this thing, and this is a lot of cleanup, is rusted solid. Unfortunately. In fact, yeah, there's the little guy right there. Come on, focus. There we go. Yeah, this thing's just rotted completely solid. There's no freeing it up. In fact, I broke a couple of cables trying to spin it. So, that was mainly what I wanted. So, now i got to fix my speedometer. But, uh, so, this is that little uh, blank piece that goes where the tack or performance gauge would go. And as you can see, the circuit board's even shot. I wouldn't even told about that. But, uh... You got to screw here, 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 and that sits right in there like so. And then you get just a neat little funky disco, couple circles, better than nothing. Well, I don't really want to buy one of the reproduction tacks because they read to 8,000, that's good. But everything I've read is they're 200 bucks and they're not very accurate. I'm not a big fan of that. So what I did, with the help of my friend Rob and a bunch of guys on Frey Bodies Only, that's a great resource if you need information on A-Body Mopars for A-Bodies only. Great website. So, uh, <clears throat> with the help of my guy, Jake's Rob. Hi, Rob. We bought something. And I had a gift wrap, just for this video. We say we finally open up that gift wrapping. All right, we just got to take a moment. It took me a while to get that unwrapped. The nice quality job of this gift wrap from jigs i mean you got a pretty little black bow you got a nice little embossed thingy that says to and from it should be to me from me but uh okay we're done with that come on come on out of there come on out of there did you notice how i neatly cut all the tape because i want to keep that <laughs> we'll hang that up somewhere it's pretty but uh this is our tack we picked out we wanted some well oh. we wanted a tank we with a real auto meter we wanted a tank that resembled the factory gauges so we went with that guy and I can't remember what that's called it's like the professional black or something it's it's some kind of fancy deal so wasn't cheap either but it was still cheaper than a reproduction tank I think we did a pretty good job matching up to the factory stuff. I mean, you're never going to get close unless you go with the factory, but it's pretty close. 
It reads in the tens, which actually the factory tack does read in the tens versus singles. And, uh, I mean, it's close enough. You probably won't be able to tell it's an aftermarket deal besides the auto meter deal. But, uh, get this tack out of here. I'm going to have any chance in hell doing this one-handed. This is the one part about using my phone that's not great. Because the GoPro allows me to have hands, both hands. But, okay, we're going to put you down and open it. Alright, fine, got it out of there. First impressions, pulling this thing out of the box. This thing weighs absolutely nothing. And that's never a good start. I mean, this thing literally weighs absolutely... This isn't even... An, I don't even know, it's just it's incredibly light. Like, I'm afraid if I drop it, I'm going to break it. You wanted something... Well... That's never a good start to the day. You know, when you spend the kind of money like I did on this thing, you kind of expect... I don't know, I kind of expect it to be about the way of one of my old tack drive tacks. But, uh, I guess you can't, you know, be super picky. Is the needle always there? Hmm. Alright, we're going to have to break up the GoPro. I can't do this. Alrighty, we had to go hands-free with the GoPro. Man, I hope that intro isn't awful. But, uh, so, this is a 3 and 3 eighths tack. That's the diameter of it. And look at that. It will kind of just nestle in there. Where's our crappy speedometer? There it is. Come here, crappy speedometer. Alright, so nothing's hitting so far. And I'm going off of what the guys on Fray Bodies Only have done in the past. And it's using a 3 and 3 eighths tack inside this cluster and it sounds really big and it looks really big until you put the cluster on and now we're going to find out. Look at that. That actually looks correct. Kind of. So, <clears throat> I know you couldn't see that. I'll get you a still picture up of what that looked like. So the main mod you got to do is you got to remove the bezel and that lens. And then what happens is that guy sits right in there and looks just like that. Yeah. Yeah, that'll look pretty good. I know there's glare and everything else, but yeah, that looks pretty good. And then how do you mount it, you next ask? Well, this is... And I mean, so I couldn't get all the credit. I was going to give credit to all the A-Body guys on Fray Bodies Only who've done this, but there's so many of them. And I couldn't find out who did it first, so it's Fray Bodies Only. So what they do is they modify this tank delete plate, sit this guy inside of there like so, and they bolt it on with those little tabbies. So... Let's get to work cutting up this very expensive auto meter tack. After some very careful cutting and very gentle prying with various small screwdrivers, finally got the chrome bezel off. Pull that off. And then we expose our tack. Which is good. Alright, so now we can really start the mock-up. This is a very expensive tack to be cutting on, but you know what? We gotta do what you gotta do. First thing we're gonna do, go to the auto meter. It doesn't belong there. Okay, so we're back on the phone. Let me get that thing off, it's annoying me. So this is how your tack delete, you know, your, your blank would normally go in. It would sit like this. Well, the idea here is to take this some gun and flip it around make it work backwards and then trim that there's actually nothing behind this on the dash which is really good <clears throat> and then we're going to inset that tack inside that hole and do whatever kind of trimming or modifications we need to do to make that work and we'll glue it in so pretty simple well kind of simple 
And the other thing is we want to make sure we get our depth set right on this, that way it looks correct. And we may or may not reuse this lens because it gives it a nice fisheye look since it's dished. And we may want to reuse that. Not 100% sure if we're going to try to do that. All I know is this bezel is definitely not necessary. We won't be needing that. The only thing we're going to do for sure is put this green lens on the light. So that way our tack goes green like the rest of our dash will. So I'm going to get to a bunch of work. And when I find little knick-knacky things you guys might want to know, I'll show you. All righty. Pause there, GoPro. All right, let me just show you what we got so far. Look at that. I'm trying to hold this thing square. Ignore the ugly gauges. <laughs> AKA that tack. All right, so. You know what's surprising is this A body gauge cluster is considerably heavier than a B body. So there's where we're sitting. That's on the top side. That's how much we have sticking out. If you're using the same 1490 auto meter tack, and then down there. Yeah, a little more sticking out. So we'll pull this thing off. Not disrupting the tack. Move this over here because we know all that fits right now. Lots of test fitting. So what I did was I clearanced the plastic here, 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 and here. So that way that could move around and get deeper in there if it needs to be. Um... Looking at it, I don't think we're going to need this lens. And all this lens is going to do is complicate things, so it's going to stay out. So now we got to figure out how we're going to secure this bad boy. Now, we could just go ahead and glue it as it is. But I like security. I like threads. So we're going to take this bad girl, and we're going to cut this thing up until it works. And then we're going to glue basically just this ring to the tank, and then it'll secure to this. That should work. Let's get at it. Alrighty, well, everything has gone to absolute utter crap. So, I started to make a little locking ring out of aluminum. But I ain't got no good way to cut this thing out, so it's right there. I wish I had a band saw or something that'd make things a lot easier. And then I started going back to how they did on A-bodies. And, uh, well, that's all that's left of that ring. It's so thin that it just crumbles. Because the auto meter gauge is a lot bigger than the Stuart Warner's. And uh, so, don't really have a good way of doing this. I could just glue these little tabbies on here. But then you can't get the tack out from the front of the back. Because the lip in the front won't go through the hole. And I really don't want to get rid of that lip. I'd be afraid of it not sealing good as far as the light goes. So... Plan B. Uh-oh. Well, that was unexpected. Plan B, get the tag back in there, is take this big old chunk of aluminum we got here, about eighth inch thick, and we're going to drill the two holes there for the mounting studs. We're going to space this thing up so it sits, you know, at eh, one of them angles. And then we're going to bend it. Now I need to go here on this little thin lip, or maybe come out to here. Probably need to go out to here, and then we'll go to here with the other bend. So that way it'll act just like a traditional tack mount where it'll suck up against there, tighten two wing nuts on it, boom, groovy. And then spade connectors off these little terminals here, and hopefully that works because I'm running out of I'm running out of stuff because this is like Plan Q actually. So let's get at it. Alrighty, fellers. So there it is, mounted. And some of you might be asking, weren't you just having troubles with trying to get everything to work, Jed? What, how'd you do this? Well, I went to my very first thought, and my second thought, I should say, on using the factory auto meter little plastic bracket thing that, you know, slips over the studs. It's kind of like uh, what's on this mechanical tech right here, this NASCAR one. It's got one of these little guys. I thought about, you know, slicing it and dicing it, shortening it up, making it work. I was like, ah, it's going to be a little hokey. I want to make this, you know, with factory parts, try and emulate what the A-Body guys did. But, well, there it is. <laughs> so, that's how it's going to look. We are going to come in with some paint, get rid of the auto meter part there, and pull this face right back off. And that's how everything looks. 
and we're going to come in with a chrome pen and do this little guy right here so way the light really bam goes everywhere and we'll come to this side we've got a couple of spacers made out of nuts and then all we need to do is glue these pieces back together so we shorten that and we mount it like that and it ought to work i mean i could come in with uh dremel or something and shape out this black ring here so it actually sits on the metal dash frame but i don't think that's super necessary it, it's locking down on the circuit boards which it's plastic so it shouldn't have any problems doing that i think it'll work and then we got good access here that aluminum idea i scrapped it almost immediately after thinking about it because how am i going to do like bends and stuff for my wires come off there so well there you go mounted oh don't want to lose that guy so i'm going to glue all that together and i guess you guys just have to wait until we get to tearing the duster's dash apart to see how this all really looks so hope you guys enjoy this little short one um a little bit of headaches you know and stuff and i'd love to show you this thing working but it is getting colder and colder as we get into january and uh well i don't really want to tear the duster apart just yet so i do need to get the cluster out of the duster so cluster out of the duster that's fun to say gotta get the cluster out of the duster so that way i can get it all restored and refinished and everything i'm gonna do some experimenting with this broken pile of crap which it really isn't that bad it can be fixed real easily so um <clears throat> this is done this is a quick easy way this is much easier than what everybody else was doing you know i didn't really want to trim all this off this lip i was afraid of it not sealing up pretty good so i think it'll work so thanks for watching this short one guys if you got an a-body rally cluster what is that 1490 is that tax part number yeah 1490 if you like the way it looks it's about 140 150 dollar tag i know it's not the cheapest option out there but it's a good option so hope you enjoyed it bye bye